This diagram illustrates the various options for creating explanatory text stored in GitHub. The HTML displayed on browsers is generated from markdown text that's easier to write than HTML tags. Behind the scenes, the service that generates the HTML is called Jekyll, and it uses the cramdown parser. GitHub's online text editor shows both raw markdown and HTML generated from it. Because GitHub provides an application's programming interface, several alternatives to GitHub's online text editor have been created. The Dillinger online editor does what the GitHub editor does, but can also store files in Google Drive and Dropbox. The Stack Edit browser app does all that and stores markdown files within the browser for temporary offline edits. There are also mobile apps that display content from GitHub.com. GitHub can also render the static HTML into a repo branch named GH Pages, which is automatically sent to GitHub I.O. website for all users to view. Markdown text can also be written in a wiki that can be created alongside each repo to present documentation associated with programming code. In its wiki, GitHub can render alternative markdown flavors such as ASCII doc and others. Unlike code in GitHub, GitHub's wiki does not currently accept pull requests from strangers. One has to be named a member or a contributor to change wiki contents. However, there is a third party who runs a GHW Node.js app to generate wiki markups into GH pages. For those who want to browse and edit markdown offline, a Git client from several publishers can be used to transfer files from github.com or uh, other cloud repository. The multi-platform and multilingual client program Hurupad and Moo both display two panes on their program so that markdown text is edited on the left pane while the formatted display is shown on the right pane. But for high quality display of HTML, many prefer to use their own favorite text editor then display Markdown locally using the open source Python web server called Grip. It uses the rendering API provided by GitHub to format Markdown into HTML for display. Grip developers are working on an internal renderer for offline use. Grip can also generate HTML files for transfer to a custom web server for public access, such as Gitbook, LeanPub, and others. Leanpub can also receive files via Dropbox. Work formatting and transferring to a web host may be automated on the server as part of a continuous integration toolchain. Many prefer hosting where they can render not just HTML, but EPUB files from Apple mobile devices, PDF files, and Mobi files for display on Amazon Kindle tablets. AZW is Amazon's proprietary format to support digital rights management. Another popular approach to generate HTML is to use Jekyll plus other Ruby gems and custom templates. Included with third-party hosting may be a CDN or content delivery network, such as what Amazon, Google, and others provide to scatter files all over the world for faster access.